Greetings, fans and flamers. We've got a lot of video and a lot less time. So, we've got so much time and so little to do. Anyway, let's move on with, well, Suwako. Now, everyone calls her the, or attempts to call her the easiest Toho extra boss. And after facing her a few, or after facing up to her a couple of times, it's kind of, well, it's kind of easy to see why. She's got a few of the easiest spell cards. She's also got one of the easiest, one of the easiest extra stages. And with the, with the faith system in place, it's also kind of easy to, to get extra lives as well. There's not much to say here, just some streaming, just some general, general firepower, and once again, I'm using my homing favorite. Here, it's just avoiding getting clipped. And then you get these guys. Of which, it, or should I say these girls. Of which, I find it easiest just to keep circling around them. You easily pick up the point items they drop, and the homing pretty much does the rest. If you're using someone else, then I apologize. I find it works easiest that way. Then Kanako shows up to cause trouble. Kaneko, Kan... however. Let's move on. The first attack is not a card, despite the background. But fortunately, it's just tight dodging. Then you get this. This is pretty easy, actually. It's just tight dodging. Look for a small open spot and just move if there are any streams directly aimed at you. Kind of like Rain's attack, Wizard Fox thoughts. And then we get to this. This, I found it easiest to just slowly circle around the shots. I really don't have any better strategy than that. Just trying to get in my bullets when I get, when I get to the center. Since the bullets home in on you. And then this. This is luring Kanako to one side or the other. Then switching sides the moment after two blasts occur. See? Not that I'm that great at it, but nonetheless, that's how it's done. And yeah, we've still got plenty of resources. Full power and... And then I flub it up. Mainly because I got greedy, but nonetheless. We can keep going. Now keep in mind... Now keep in mind, well... These are just the uh, repeating patterns, so really I can speak my mind. Yeah, just move to the side, pretty much lure all the bullets to one side. Yeah. We've seen this, Sawako. Give us a challenge. <laughs> oh yeah, this will do really well. I used the bomb here just because I wanted to get more, pow more power into life, so... Yeah, and those last couple yellow fairies, they always drop a full power-up, so... <laughs> anyway, on to Sawako. She starts off with... Uh, actually, fairly difficult non-spells. Fairly. Then two claps, one bow. Here, you just have to lean to one side, dodge in the laser, lean to the other side, dodge in the laser, and just repeat. I at first didn't know how to do this and it screwed me up severely, but after that this is a piece of cake. Even if you're use not using a homing character, this is easy. Now 
This is just some tight dodging. Use a bomb if you get scared. Don't be afraid to use a bomb if you get scared. There's plenty more power coming your way. This card, I just hate. I can complete it, but I hate it. You've got to slowly move down with the lasers and dodge between the tiny specks. You've got to wait till they spread out enough or else you're going to get clipped. No questions about it. Oish. Anyways, you see, it's not that hard to see why she's considered an easy boss. But as for whether she's easier than Moku, that's debatable. Moku's hard, at hard as well, but still. This card I can complete, but I fail on this run, simply because of the fact that I moved a little too slowly. I think what you're supposed to do is kind of dodge up and in between and kind of lower the rings to just get, stay in one line, but I just screwed it up entirely. I should have gone back to the right then, but, or gone back to the left instead of to the right, but nonetheless, we'll survive. <laughs> this non-spell is actually a bit easier. Everything's aimed for you, so just keep firing and Suwako will just take the, take the brunt of it. And this card, I have no idea how to complete. I move up, I get trapped. I move down, I get trapped. Anyone want to tell me what I'm doing wrong? Please, please tell me what to do. I just don't get it. Seriously, what the hell am I supposed to do here? spell before. It's a little faster, possibly a little tighter, but it's the same non-spell. Then we get this. This one you've got to dodge in between and pretty much go in and out, in and out. Kind of another form of the two claps, one bow. Except instead of up and down or side to side, it's in and out. Circle around, and voila. Sometimes it'll wall you. Don't get discouraged. It's not that hard of a card. And then this... Damn it, Sawako! Give me something to talk about! Sheep. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean it. <laughs> okay, maybe not something to talk about. This is pathetic. Seriously, this is the kind of thing I expect on normal from a stage 3 boss. Maybe a hard 3 boss, but not not this. This... Yeah, you see how to do it. Dodge, stand between the laser lanes, and then just dodge up and down. Even without homing, that's easy. And there I just panicked. And this card is another card I hate. This is just a ton of Don Maku shots. Period. You're not gonna find any less Don Maku anywhere else, or any more Don Maku anywhere else in this game. Sheesh. Yeah, I pretty much burn up all my bombs. I know how to do it, I'm just no good at it. I confess. It's possible to do, I just can't. Maybe with a bit more training, I might be able to handle it, but not, not now. Not at this point. And I almost made it through without losing a life, but oh well. And this was just stupid. And now, on to the second card, of which I have no idea what to do with. Yeah, it starts a fuse that literally causes Don Maku everywhere. And 
really, if I had gotten that third bomb, I might have done a bit better at this, but... I, it doesn't change the fact I just hate this card. I have no idea what it wants me to do, but it, I mean, other than dodge bullets, I mean, that part is obvious, okay? Let's not be assholes, okay? And on to her second survival card, which is why I place her higher than Moku. Ugh. This is... Again, there's not much to talk about here. It's just... Do it's just dodging up in into the river, dodging between the bullets that spray around, and then watching out for the blast that comes out afterwards. What more can I say? The, red the dark red ones are aimed at you, the light red ones are just random. What more do you want me to say about it? And that was just stupid. Really, I should be better than that. I just walked into that shot. And here I just started bombing since I decided, screw it. <laughs> I've gotten most of, I've got, I've gotten almost everything else this is my last, ch this is my chance to get to Sawaku's final card. I can't wait to see what it is. And then we wind up with a slightly harder version of how the Hor Horned Owl. Seriously, that's it? We get a stage two bosses lunatic card as our final, as our final card. For an extra boss. Oh, your bombs are smaller when when you fire them off. And it lasts, and she's got a lot of hit points for it. What? <laughs> Admittedly, I did several of my bombs just because of the fact I was panicking. I didn't know. I kept I kept wondering. Oh, have I gotten that far? This was the first and only time I've bothered getting far enough to see it, because I don't want to go through extra again. But, yeah, this is it. Howl of the Horned Owl. This is Sawaku's final card. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it the Mishurigi whatever. That is Howl of the Horned Owl. I am not changing my mind on that. And this is why we know it's not a real frog in there, because the fact, look at that freaking string holding that. Oish. Yes, yes, fine. <laughs> and that concludes this replay. Eesh. But after going through that, I can understand why people think that Swaku's not that tough of an extra boss. Well, for an extra boss, anyway. And on that note of anyway, I'll see you next bid.